Pose Master is a tool for Genesis 3 and Genesis 8 figures, allowing you to modify an existing pose or create a new one in a very efficient way. It can be used in two different ways. First, as a synthetic global and control interface, controlling the rotations of all the main bones of the body and organized by body areas. Then, you can use it the same way, but with additional tools allowing you to place and modify the locations of the hands and the feet, and to adjust the surrounding bones of the arms and the legs the way you want. In this case, you can define additional options concerning hands and feet behavior when you pose the full figure, the hip, the pelvis, and the trunk bones. Still in the second case, with the advanced interface, the hands and the feet are connected to objects called helpers that you can see here, 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 and here, okay, which are visible in the scene and which are using physical objects, each one shaped as a red, green, and blue arrow. This is very easy to go from one mode to, to another mode. By default, the helpers are connected, meaning that if you move them, okay, it will move uh, the hand, for instance, okay? Uh, if you want to disconnect helpers and to come back to the basic use, you just have to click this button, okay? So this time, if you move the helpers, nothing happens, okay? Um, you can rotate the arms, for instance, and they are, you see that the, the hand is not linked uh, to the helper, okay? Uh, it's, it would be the same for the feet and the other end. Now, if you want to reconnect, you just have to click the same button. Now the helpers are connected to the, their respective hands and feet. Foot, okay, feet. And uh, if you activate any of the gels, it will place the hand back on the helper, and they are linked once again together. Meaning that if you move them, okay. And if you move the bounce, they stay in place and everything is recalculated. This is the way to swap from one mode to another mode. <clears throat> and you can do this as many times as you want during a session. First, let's have a look at the top of the interface. Uh, so you have several tabs. Okay, these types can be uh, reorganized. I mean, if, for instance, if you want fingers to be first, you just have to drag and drop it. If you want to take it at its original place, you do the same in the other way. Okay, you can reorganize them for this session, for your current session. You have a tab for the arms, arms where you have uh, the helper, which is used only if uh, it is connected. So at the top, the right arm, at the bottom, the left arm, and here, a few fingers poses. The second tab is called leg hips, but includes much more, since you have the pelvis controls, you have the legs controls with the right leg above and the left leg below, you have the twos, the right two and the right twos and the left twos, as, the pos as well as the possibility to set the fit as the orbit node for the perspective view so that you can frame on, on the feet when you move the tools if you want to uh, and you have the hip controls so you have much more than on the leg and the hip because you have also pelvis and tools all right with uh, each time an organization by column uh, of uh, the bones uh, related to legs for instance and the third tab is the trunk figure tab where you can uh, control the abdomen lower, upper, chest lower, chest upper, and the full figure position in the scene, I mean the figure itself. Uh, for the trunk bones, you can uh, bend twists and side side them individually or collectively using the commands above. Next tab is the head eyes tab with the neck lower, neck upper, and head bones, as well as the right eye, re left eye, and both eyes controls. All right, and uh, you can uh, bend, twist, or side side neck lower, neck upper head individually using these gels or collectively uh, all together using the gels above. Uh, same for the eyes. Here you can uh, control the both eyes. Uh, what you see moving here in the scene, the blue axis, is the axis of view. Uh, it means the direction the figure is looking into. You have also an option to um, look at a specific point in the scene, but this will be explained later in, in uh, this presentation. And now let's go for the fingers tab, okay, where you have the right hand above and the left hand below, all right? 
and you have an organization by by finger i mean thumb index mid ring and pinky with their associated carpals and for each um, finger you have an organization by rotation type as well as the possibility to set uh, the hand as the orbit node for the perspective view and this makes very easy uh, to control the the hand uh, the fingers i mean the general option studios uh, give you access to uh, very useful tools uh, for this interface uh, such as, for in instance, how precisely we want to, the hands and feet to be kept on their helpers, some collective action connection, uh, show, hide, and move um, actions on the helpers, uh, the possibility to check the status of, uh, of each helper. For instance, here, right hand is connected, and the distance to the helper is... Uh, uh, this is one centimeter, one millimeter, less than one millimeter. Okay, and this allows you to check these kinds of things. Uh, you have, you can also uh, zero uh, several body parts or reset the original pose, uh, the one you had when you launched the script. Okay, uh, you can launch the Da Studio Bake to Transform native script. You can launch the Da Studio Move to Floor Native Script. You can use the symmetry tool of Da Studio. You can open the documentation. You can open little tips. You can add the script to main menu and swap between NVIDIA IRA and Texture Shaded Mode. And finally, you have the center of mass tab, which allows you to calculate to uh, create or update the center of mass. It is not created by default. Here you see it in the scene. It's the huge green axis that you see here okay and you see here the it's blue axis and it's red axis okay so you can create or update it so here it's already created you can hide it uh, you can show it okay you can um, update it after you post to your figure or automatically update it but it's heavy in terms of calculations so it's better to update after you post the figure um, and that's all. And the center of maths is a good um, is a good clue about the balance of the figure. And that's all for this overview of the pose master, the different tabs and the tools that you can have. In the other videos, you will find more specific examples of what you can do with it.